everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kriteman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to um, animate in our spline modeler. And we're going to, uh, it's just going to be a kind of an example of what you can do uh, with your animation. And that uh, uh, little something you can do with your spline modeler. So uh, let's go ahead and grab a spline object and drop it in our scene. And it brings us into the assembly room. And, or the spline, or the spline modeler room. And let's go ahead and draw a, a um, oval in the middle of our scene. Push Shift Command C and get it centered. Let's go ahead and create a section at the end here. And we're going to make that section 0.13 tab 0.13. Okay. Now, uh, grab the, your end over here, bring it down to the bottom, grab your other end, bring it back to the top, and you should be pretty straight. Now, uh, let's go ahead and make another section. Instead of creating, we're going to create multiple and still only do one. Um, number to create is going to be one, push OK. And you notice that it made an oval that's uh, a size in between your bottom one and your top one and that's fine now uh, select the extra point that it made and we're going to smooth that out you can smooth point and have nice uh, even angles or you could have just clicked this and then dragged but uh, since it did this let's go ahead and uh, go to our first second of our animation and we're going to animate just the middle. That's all we're going to animate. I'm going to bring that up over here. Go to our second second. Tag it and make sure you don't select the whole thing so you don't move the whole thing. And then bring it below where we had it. And you notice it's nice and smooth now. That's why we that's why we wanted to smooth the point so that when we dragged it, it didn't have really sharp angles. Let's go ahead and drag this up here make it go back up here again and the last one's going to bring it right to the right to where we started pal let's take a look at it let's see if it'll do it oh, negative but it makes a nice little animation right there okay good now let's jump out of here and let's do some adjustments. Bring this all the way back down to the back to the bottom here, and uh, just go ahead and shut this for a second. And let's make our overall percentage of this thing uh, 0.16. Oh no 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 no! We want it 16%. 16 plain. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and zoom in on this. See what we got, and that's what we got. Let's make, let's give it a shader. Make it green. Let's make sure that we haven't resized the animated resizing it too. Nope. Good. Now, uh, here's going to be the here's going to be the fun part. There's a neat little trick we're going to do here. Um, Let's go to my my invisible plane. I had a plane invisible here, so you so you didn't uh, so I could surprise you. And uh, on our plane, I I found this image on uh, on the internet on Wikipedia, and uh, it's a uh, it's a pretty cool image. Uh, I just Google spirals, and uh, you'll wind up finding this image, but it'll be uh, black on a white background. Now on our on this plane, what we're going to do is we're going to replicate it. We're going to replicate those little. Well, before we do that, we're going to replicate them on here. But well, yeah, we are going to replicate them on there right now. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a surface replicator in here. Jump in the surface replicator. We're going to choose an object plane. That's cool. We're going to add our spline. That's cool. And let's see what we got. Ah, Grr. All 
Okay. Yikes. Uh, make sure our output is on current frame. Make sure our camera is over here. Now let's take a look at it. And you notice that all our little points are pointing down. We don't like that. Let's uh, jump out of here and let's zoom in on our spline object. Bring this around and push caps lock. Bring this down to the bottom. As close to the bottom as you can. And push caps lock again to lock it. And let's rotate it 90 degrees so it's pointing straight up. And now when you bring it back into the surface replicator, everything's standing straight out from from our scene. Just like that. But it's not doing what we want it to do. What I want it to do is to go around into the spiral. So let's jump into our surface replicator. We're going to use all domains, use the shader. And before we do that, let's grab our shader. Let's copy it here. And remember this from the last tutorial that we did this. And now let's jump into our, we're going to edit the shader. And we're going to paste it right there. And that should have done something. Doesn't look like it did. Uh, object, objects try to cluster. There we go. Let's bring them point uh, two or two five, and let's go ahead and increase our number of objects a little bit. Um, there we go. Do a best distribution. You can see how it started the spiral right here. and that's nice and good. Now you can increase the number, you can you can go nuts with the with the amount that you put on there, but uh, and they start going all over the start going all over the uh, picture. And uh, what I've done here is I have um, made a little example of what you can do with them, how they look. Uh, oh, before we do that, sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and check some of our other, uh, parameters here. Uh, random scale, let's go ahead and make our random scale a 100%. And let's make our random rotation on the Z axis. Let's make that, uh, 360. And we ought to get a pretty random looking bunch of, oh. Oh, yeah kind of pretty random looking bunch of uh, polygon or uh, pylons and now let's take a look at what it looks like animated no. now let's see what it looks like animated and you can get uh, you can do a, a bunch of uh, really cool effects with this. You can do waving grass or hair, you know, if you're if uh, you need something that doesn't take up so much RAM in your in your uh, in your hair modeler, hair modeler, um, you can uh, map some hair over this and uh, or grass or, you know, sky's the limit. And uh, it's something you can do just about in every part of Carrera. So, anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kreitman and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.